again the drivers change number two Simeon Shaken will be Tony Morgan one is one sure thing owned by Canamera Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton Delaware Irvin Miller trains Andy Miller is in the bike number one one sure thing two Simeon Shaken owned by William Phillips Marvin Carter of Carrollton Gary Northrup trains and that drivers change to Tony Morgan Free Scarcity, owned by Brian Penske Stable, Tim Town by R&D Samson Stable and Penske Stable. Brian Penske trains and drives Scarcity. Four, Call Me Maggie, owned by William and Norma Spencer of Plymouth, Indiana. Jerry Robinson trains, Dave McGee is up. Five, Hallie Brown, owned by Marvin McBee of Linden, Indiana. Bill Stull trains, Hallie Brown. Roy Finn is in the bike. Six, Page. Owned by Ron Phillips of Petersburg, by Jesse Fergie of Plantsville, Colorado. Mike Rogers trains. Eric Ledford gets the call. Seven, Fancy Creek Becca. Owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Tony Alanya, the trainer with Dale Heitman. Eight is Carbonium. Owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago. Tex Motes, the trainer, Brent Holland in the Sulky. And number nine, Max Delight. Owned by Carolyn Harris of Springfield. Jim Ferguson trains. Rick Schrock guides Max delight. That's the field for the Isoba Stake race number eight for two-year-old pacing fillies. Now that field of nine at the post, the gate is rolling. One sure thing, back off the gate, some four or five lengths, trying to catch it, and about to do that. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and on the inside with the lead, Shimmy and Shaken, but outside her, Scarcity now rushes, and there goes Scarcity. Outside Scarcity, getting out third. Now second is Call Me Maggie as that field thunders into the first turn. The leader, Scarcity, Call Me Maggie, chasing on the outside, third to the inside, Shimmy and Shaken. Getting out fourth, still there, one sure thing as they roll around the turn, racing toward the quarter mile mark. Behind one sure thing, racing five is Paige, six is Hallie Brown, seven, Fox Valley, uh, is, as they reach the quarter mile mark, will be Fancy Creek Becca. And now they race past that mark toward the back stretch. And on the outside, on the move, here comes one sure thing off a 29 2 front quarter. One sure thing racing past Phillies was fourth moments ago, now is second on the outside. Now to the front goes one sure thing, Andy Miller. They take command before they reach the half-mile mark. Second is Scarcity. Third behind her, Shimmy and Shaken, racing four. As they reach the half-mile mark will be Call Me Maggie. Behind Call Me Maggie, fifth on the inside is Paige, racing six on the outside is Fancy Creek Becca. Hallie Brown has pace. She's seventh to the inside. Carbonium is eighth, and the trailer is Mac Delight. They reach the half, 59-1. They're past the draw gate. Two-year-old fillies are headed into the upper turn, and the leader as they race that way is one sure thing. The Cole Muffler filly by a length and a half for Miller. Behind her, waiting second is Scarcity. On the outside, here comes Call Me Maggie. Moving quickly now for McGee. She positions herself third. Racing fourth, no place to go for Shimmy and Shaken. And backing out, finding a room. Here comes Paige from way back. Max Delight, all nine in contention. They're at the top of the lane off three quarters. And 129, the leader is one sure thing as they turn for home. Billy's standing out, five across the racetrack, and still everybody's got a chance. And on the outside, here comes Scarcity. Far outside, Call Me Maggie. Even farther out comes Paige. And it's Scarcity getting to the front. Here comes Shimmy and Shaken. Scarcity, Shimmy and Shaken, home third. Was Call Me Maggie. Fourth appeared to be Paige. Then it's a multiple Philly uh, photo for the last check. 157 and two fifths. Two-year-old daughter of Cole Muffler from the Ideal Society Mother Scarce Commodity. Bred by Cottonwood Farming. And now into the winner's circle, that Cole Muffler filly from Scarce Commodity and about to be presented the Isoba Award. Brian Pinsky joined by the family. Co-owned with Tim Town, R&D Sampson. Blanket presentation again by Latoya Crawford, the young lady putting that blanket on the horse. 
in the office department of the ISOBA organization. Latoya, by the way, qualified for the state finals in several events in track. She picked up wins on the 200, the 400, the 4x200, four 4x4, four four, second in a long jump in regional and sectional competition, so a gifted athlete. So racing is uh, no surprise or no new deal to Latoya. And there's Penske, and winning is no new or big deal to Brian. He's done a lot of it in his career, and he has won a number of Grand Circuit races, a number of Illinois races, and his latest acquisition, an Isoba Cup with scarcity.